destination for years to come. Imagine this, our simulated lives. Let's say for a moment that we living in a simulation. What would that mean for us? Would we even be able to tell? It's a tough one to wrap your head around, but let's try using some everyday examples. Imagine you're playing a video game like The Sims. You create characters, build houses, and guide them through their lives. Now imagine those Sims becoming self-aware. Would they know they were living in a simulated world? From their perspective, their world would feel just as real as ours does to us. It's a mind-boggling thought, but it highlights a fundamental question. If we're living in a simulation, does it even matter? Would it change the way we live our lives or the choices we make? The glitch in the system signs we might be simulated if our reality is truly a simulation, could there be clues hidden in plain sight? Some believe that certain glitches or anomalies in our universe might point to the existence of a higher power pulling the strings. One example is the strange world of quantum mechanics, which governs the behavior of particles at the atomic and subatomic levels. Quantum mechanics is full of bizarre and counterintuitive phenomena like particles being in multiple places at once or instantaneously influencing each other across vast distances. Another potential clue is the speed of light, which is considered an absolute limit in our universe. But what if this is simply a hard-coded limit within the simulation? What if the programmers capped the speed of light to prevent us from exploring too much, too quickly? and perhaps uncovering the true nature of our reality. While none of these clues definitively prove that we're living in a simulation, they certainly add to the intrigue and keep the debate alive. So, are we living in a simulation? The big question remains, are we actually living in a sophisticated computer program? Right now, there's no definitive answer. It's a mind-bending concept and one that pushes the boundaries of what we know about the universe and ourselves. But even if we can't prove it yet, the beauty of the simulation theory is that it forces us to question everything. So the next time you boot up a video game or watch a movie with incredible special effects, take a moment to think. What if our reality is just as complex, just as immersive, just as simulated?